Hi, I'm Annika from iDoc, and in this video I'll show you how you can easily fix your broken Galaxy S22 Ultra yourself. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your great support and trust in this channel. However, our statistics show that 98% of you have not subscribed yet. If the same goes for you, we would be very happy if you make up for it at this point. With your subscription you will not only support our channel, but also won't miss any of our new videos. Replacing the USB board is relatively easy on the S22 Ultra, as only a few components have to be removed. Allow about 45 to 60 minutes for the repair. You will need the following tools. In addition, these tools can be helpful. You can find all tools for this repair, as well as an original USB board for your Galaxy S22 Ultra, in our online store at idoc.eu en. We've put the links in the info box. Don't forget to switch off your S22 Ultra before the repair to avoid a potential short circuit. To do so, press down the function and silent key simultaneously for a few seconds. Press into the small opening of the SIM tray with a pointed object to push it out of the case frame. We use a SIM tool for this. Then pull the tray out completely. To open the smartphone, you first have to warm up the heavily glued back cover. To do so, run a heat gun or a normal hairdryer evenly over the back cover's edge for a few minutes. Be careful not to burn your fingers on the heated case and back cover. Once the back cover is sufficiently heated, place a suction cup on its bottom edge and pull it upwards. This way you will create a narrow gap between the back cover and the screen unit. At the same time, insert a flat pick into the gap. If you have difficulties inserting the pick, the iFlex can help with the first insertion. It is made of thin metal and is particularly easy to insert due to its sharp edges. However, you should switch back to a plastic tool as soon as possible to avoid scratching anything. As an alternative to the suction cap, we can recommend the ice clack. Thanks to its leverage, you don't have to use as much force to lift the back cover upwards. Once the beginning is made, detach the back cover piece by piece from the rest of the case with your tool. To make it easier for you to remove the back cover, you can always warm up its edge in between. Leave flat picks in the loosened areas, so that the glue cannot bond again. We recommend using a hard plastic pick around the camera module. Due to its rounded corners, you can't insert it too deep and don't run the risk of damaging the sensitive camera lenses. Once the back cover is fully detached, you can remove the suction cup and picks and take it off. Here you can see the adhesive frame that was used to attach the back cover. In the next step, remove the charging coil. Its lower end is glued to the speaker. Its upper end is a metal cover that is screwed onto the motherboard. Carefully separate its two connectors from the motherboard with a spudger. Then unscrew the five Phillips screws that fix the metal cover over the motherboard. To avoid losing the small screws, we recommend using a magnetic pad. Flip the detached metal cover upwards and pull the lower glued end of the charging coil off the speaker. Put the detached coil aside. Now the battery is exposed and you can disconnect it. Always disconnect the battery as early as possible to avoid a short circuit. Small parts on the motherboard can easily be damaged, so make sure that you lever from a free side if possible. Next is the loudspeaker. Loosen its six Phillips screws. A small arrow and notches on the component will then show you where you can best place your tool to pry it out. 
We use the ESD Spatter for this. For the first time, Samsung has integrated the vibration motor into the speaker of the S22 Ultra. Remove the two connecting cables above the battery. These connect the USB to the motherboard. Separate the two connectors one after the other. Then take the disconnected cables out of the device. Now you can remove the USB board. To do so, unscrew the three Phillips screws that hold it in place. Then lever it out of the screen unit and put it aside. You can find an original USB board for your Galaxy S22 Ultra, as well as the appropriate tools for this repair, in our online store at adoc.eu slash en. Position the new USB board in the screen unit. The charging jack has to fit into the case frame in order for the board to sit level. Fix the board with three Phillips screws. Position the two connecting cables over the battery one after the other. The cable labeling helps you with the alignment. Attach the two connectors to the USB and motherboard. You should hear and feel them click into place. Be especially careful when attaching connectors and never press them down with force. A damaged connector can lead to the failure of an entire component. Put the speaker back in place. Its plastic lugs must fit into the case frame. If the speaker sits level, you can screw it tight. Connect the battery again at this point. You should always connect the battery as late as possible to avoid a short circuit. Reattach the charging coil. Align it with the help of the screw holes and press its glued end tight. Then screw the metal cover back onto the motherboard. Finally press down the connectors of the charging coil and NFC antenna. Before you finally close your S22 Ultra again, we recommend testing the new USB board at this point. Connect a charging cable to see whether your Galaxy charges. Also check if it is recognized by your PC or Mac. Test more functions by opening the Samsung test menu. Our checklist helps you to keep an overview during testing. We link it to you in the info box. If something does not work properly, check again if all components are connected and screwed correctly. If everything is ok, you can reattach the back cover. If the adhesive frame is still in good condition, you can simply reuse it. If it has defects or no longer sticks properly, you should remove it and attach a new one. Align the new adhesive frame with the back cover. The cutouts in the film will help you. Remove the carrier film of the adhesive frame and press it along the edge of the back cover. You can use a spatter, for example, to help you do this. If the adhesive frame fits correctly, remove the remaining protective film. Now reattach the back cover over the screen unit. Press it firmly along the frame so that it sits evenly everywhere. To ensure that the glue bonds properly, heat up the edge of the back cover for a few minutes and then weigh it down with a few books. In the last step, insert the SIM tray again. You did it! Your Galaxy S22 Ultra is now working properly again. I hope the repair of your Galaxy S22 Ultra was successful. If this tutorial helped you, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!
You can find high-quality tools, spare parts and accessories for your smartphone repair in our store, iDoc. Everything for your smartphone. Find more repair guides and other helpful videos here.